Chinese checkers is a game I played occasionally when I was younger and thought it'd be fun to play again. When I thought about how it was designed, it occurred to me that this might be a really good project to make using a laser, so here we are. I envisioned the board being made from three layers of 8th inch material. The first layer I cut was the bottom layer. I used 8th inch MDF that was masked on both sides. Since the design of the board would have openings that would go through to the bottom layer, I wanted to make sure the material didn't show any burning or other marks on it. Sorry for the weird reflection in the laser's window. We recently had a flood from a roof leak and the cleanup crew has a wall of plastic behind some of our equipment that is constantly moving from the fans drying out the drywall. The next layer, or the middle layer, was cut from a sheet of masked walnut veneered wood. The first thing I had the laser do though was very lightly cut out the board pattern in the mask. This would help me paint the player areas in different colors later. The triangular shapes that were cut were an attempt to make this board look more interesting. If I had left them out, then this layer could have actually been the bottom of the board and the previous MDF piece wouldn't have been needed. Well, it'll make more sense when you see this put together later. The final layer, or the top of the board, was cut from 8th inch acrylic. I almost always use cast acrylic on laser projects, but this time I used extruded acrylic. Since there's no engraving needed, just vector cutting, which type I used didn't really matter. We also managed to acquire a big stack of a cheap and is just sitting around collecting dust, so it was nice to use up a piece for this project. The blue color is the plastic film that the acrylic already comes with from the factory and will be peeled off later. If you are interested in making this game board, the file we use will be made available on our Patreon account. Also, all materials used in this project will be listed in the description below. In preparation for painting, I peeled the mask off from only the individual player triangle sections, or whatever you call them. I just want to mention here that using a light vector cut like what was done here creates what we call a temporary stencil in the masking material, and it works exceptionally well. We do this all the time, so I guess what I'm trying to say is that we'd highly recommend using this technique if you haven't tried it yet. Anyway, I normally would try to use spray paint on something like this, but I don't have all the colors of paint needed so I decided to brush on acrylic paints instead. Because the color of the wood is a little on the darker side, I gave all the triangles a number of light coats of a matte white paint. This would act as a sort of primer and would help make the acrylic paint colors pop. The wood was not already sealed, so I had to be really careful to keep the paint from bleeding under the mask. So, as you can see, I went extremely light with my coats. After the white base coat was given sufficient drying time, I tackled hand painting the acrylics. I normally would have liked to thin the paint down a little, but I didn't want to risk any bleeding under the mask, so I kept it thicker. I just squeezed a little acrylic paint direct from the tubes onto a foam brush. I normally use bristle brushes, but figured this would help reduce brush strokes. I did end up using a small bristle brush with the corners that were close to other colors so I didn't jack them up. When the acrylic paint was dry, I peeled the mask off the back, and then peeled the mask off the MDF bottom piece. I used regular wood glue to glue the pieces and clamp them together with medium sized binder clips. If you haven't seen our other videos, then I'll repeat myself. Get different sized binder clips. They are probably the cheapest clamps you can find that work extremely well when you're gluing thin layers of material like this together. Since I got some white spray paint on the edges of the walnut layer, I wanted to clean them up a bit. I've often cheated and just used a sharpie to color the edges, but this didn't work too well here. So I gave up and just used some black acrylic paint.
paint on the edge was dry, I peeled off the remaining mask from the walnut layer. If you look close, I did have a little black paint bleed under the mask on the edges. I was able to scrape it off with my fingernail later, so it wasn't a big deal. I also had to touch up a few small spots of color on the player triangles. Almost done. Hooray! I peeled the blue film from one side of the acrylic layer and positioned it on the wood board. I then peeled back the blue film from each corner and put screws in. The board was designed for number four quarter inch screws. I think brass screws might have looked nicer, but I only had the black ones, so that's what I used. finally time to fill up the board. I got a set of marbles meant for Chinese checkers on Amazon. So the set came with six colors and enough marbles for each player. It actually came with more marbles than I needed, so you could conceivably make a larger version with more holes if you wanted, which might be cool too. If you want to make this board and get the same marbles we used, a link will be in the description below. Thanks for watching! There's a link in the description to join our Patreon for access to all the designs and files shown in our videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of future projects. We have more videos coming soon. Stay tuned!